Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nadea J and today's video is going to be a full-ish face using Colourpop Cosmetics products. If you live in the UK, you know it's a struggle to get your hands on Colourpop products, but I've been blessed enough to have my sister from across the pond send me these amazing products to test for you guys, plus some of the Colourpop products that I already had in my collection to kind of bring you guys a semi it was majority full face product if you want to hear my first impression and thoughts of a lot of new stuff from Colourpop that I haven't actually tried then definitely keep watching I'm just going to show you guys the new products that I have that I haven't tried before so the first product I've got is the Colourpop no filter foundation um, when this exploded on the scene loads of people were doing reviews on it and I didn't have it at the time so I couldn't do reviews so right now I will be testing it and the shade my sit sent me what well, is deep dark 185 and I actually asked for the shade because um, I thought it would be the one that would match me the most obviously this was before I went on holiday but I still think it will match me it's a pretty pretty beautiful color the packaging of the Colourpop bottles is glass which is a bit nerve-wracking for me it's like it's just it's proper proper glass so that's a bit scary it does have a pump so yeah I'm definitely intrigued to try that and then I've got two no filter concealers packaging again looks the same as the foundation box and I have got mine in shades medium dark 38 which is this shade which to me doesn't really look like medium dark anything but we'll test it out and I also asked for medium dark 36 or maybe my sister just added this one I'm not too sure I can't remember now which is slightly lighter than the first one so again we'll be testing it out to me these concealers are a bit dark if it's like medium dark that is to me it's a bit light <laughs> but yeah I'll definitely be trying that and then I've got the no filter setting powder and I've got this in banana because obviously banana is setting powder shade and packaging is quite small to be honest I would have expected a bit more product but um, that's what she looks like so we we'll test this out and I've also got the no filter pressed powder same type of packaging for all the skin based products this is what it looks like comes in a little box like this and it's in shade dark it's not very dark to me <laughs> it looks really beigey it's not very dark to me so I'm a bit I'm a bit nervous about this powder to be honest um, but yeah we'll give it a go she also added in two eyeshadow palettes one is Mar and I love the thing about Colourpop it always says the names of the products at the back hence why I always pop my eyeshadows back into the box as opposed to you know throwing the box away I know some of them or majority of them have a sticker at the back but when you're doing your makeup and you kind of want to say the name of the shade I don't want to keep turning the back I've got the packaging it just makes it easier and this is what it looks like it's a pretty blue blue type of um, theme going on I really like it I might actually use this today and then the second one is called Soul Soul, soul, and this is what the packaging looks like. And ooh. have you guys been loving my uploads lately? Leave me a comment down below if you're loving them because I'm loving them, I'm loving working for you guys. So, this is what soul looks like. Oh, that red. That red, that reddish pink is gorgeous. So that's what she looks like. So yeah, we're going to play today. I actually don't know what look I'm going to go for, which makes it even more exciting. So let's jump in. I haven't got any brow products from um, Colourpop. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brow case from 
Profusion Cosmetics. This is a really affordable brand. You can get it in the US, you can get it in the UK, and I believe they ship worldwide. So I'm definitely going to use this to fill in my brows. I have a video showing you guys my first impression and how I actually use the palette. So definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So my brows are on and I actually primed my face and I used the Benefits, the Pore Professional Matte Rescue and also the Pore Filler before applying my brows. So now I'm going to kick off with the foundation and I'm just looking on Colourpop's website. It says that the foundation is buildable, is a buildable full coverage foundation. It's a natural matte foundation which delivers flawless looking skin from day to night. The oil free lightweight formula blends smoothly and is easily customizable to create the coverage you want. Build it up or share it out. It was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments to deliver true color while looking and feeling natural. The lockable pump is easy to use and always keeps your routine mess free and it's 100% cruelty free and vegan. Application tips, it says start from the center of your face, blend foundation outwards, it gives maximum coverage. Um, for maximum coverage, use a large foundation brush, medium foundation brush or flat kabuki brush, okay. For medium coverage, use a do now I'm going for full coverage, so apply no filter, concealer, yada yada yada. So basically, it's saying it's a buildable full coverage foundation that gives a natural matte finish and it's oil free now that's important because I've got oily skin so I definitely do not need anything that's going to make me oily so I'm going to go ahead and apply this foundation I'm going to use a flat foundation brush to kind of apply it first and then I'll blend it out with my brush so I'm going to shake it up first I'm going to put a few pumps it's a good thing that it's lockable because it means I can actually travel with it so I'm gonna, it's quite watery, if you look at it, it kind of runs down your hand. So I'm gonna start off by applying in, and go. add a couple more pumps because two pump never works so after four pumps this is what we're looking like I don't know what they mean by oil free this foundation is oily I can already see some shine coming from my face. In terms of the match, I look a bit grayish, but I think it might oxidize. It says it's oil free, but I can see oil in this, so it might oxidize a little bit. It's not as full coverage as I was hoping after four pumps, so it, I might have to layer it. It does say it's buildable, so it should allow me to layer the foundation. So I'm going to give this a couple of seconds and then I'm going to layer another four pumps on it because I really want my imperfections to not show as much. I can see all my spots and everything here and I can see my five o'clock shadow here. So yeah, let's give it a couple minutes. Now this is my face after eight pumps. So I layered four more pumps on top and I've given it a couple of minutes to settle in and off the bat this foundation is not good for oily skin. What um, Pop is talking about about it being matte or oil free but it is hella oily and I used a matte primer so if you are keen to use this foundation you've got oily skin I'd suggest you use a really really matte primer because this guy slips and it it's it's just very oily it feels heavy on my face because it's just oily but we're going to carry on so so far i'm not loving the coverage neither am i loving the consistency because i can still see my dark um patches and i can actually see some breakage around my mouth and i haven't even been smiling so yeah i'm not loving it and plus the match is a bit off 
for me but I think the next shade would have been too dark for me either way but yeah let's just carry on so next I'm going to use the concealer and I've got the concealer in medium dark 36 or medium dark 38 definitely gonna go for 38 because the 36 looks light 38 looks light as well so what does it say about the filter uh, long wearing full coverage natural matte concealer it's lightweight it's blendable apply seamlessly to cover dark circles so I definitely will not be color correcting uh, cruelty free vegan friendly application tips it says choose a shade that closely matches your skin to brighten under eyes or highlight choose a shade that is one to two shades lighter than your skin blend with a sponge or brush or fingers whatever you prefer and set with a no filter loose setting powder or the no filter sheer matte press powder so I will be setting with the setting powder in banana so I'm gonna get that guy open so that I've got my powder to go I'm just going to put some on my beauty sponge. I'm going to take the concealer in shade 38, medium dark. And I love the applicator. It doesn't have any weird smell. It is, feels quite creamy. So I'm just going to apply... I'm going to give it a couple of seconds to settle in and then I'm going to blend it in with my beauty sponge. And this beauty sponge is from Miss, um, it's from Shop Miss, Shop Miss A? Yeah, Shop Miss A. Yeah. <laughs> This concealer is hella light and it hella creases. My goodness. It creases really badly and it's super light. I know some people like this but this is very light for me. I'm just going to carry on and I'm going to set it quite quickly because it creases. So while the powder is settling in, I'm just going to read a little bit about the powder. So the powder comes in three shades. Um, we've got translucent, we've got banana, which I've got on, and we've got translucent deep. Translucent deep is quite dark, hence why I didn't go for it. And it says, lock in makeup with our translucent, weightless, loose setting powder. It's developed with ultra fine, smooth powders to provide a long wearing, soft focus matte finish without feeling heavy or looking cakey um, I don't know how I feel about that the powder kind of feels hella weird and it doesn't feel as smooth as I would hope so we're gonna have to see if it performs but I just don't I don't like the consistency, consistency of it I was expecting it to be a little bit finer but it's, it feels a bit clunky to me but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to dust off my makeup now, sorry, the powder with the pressed, sheer matte pressed powder. And that, this, ugh, it comes in six shades. So I have got the one in dark, which says it's for dark skin tones. And then there's one more shade, which is deep dark skin tones. And when you read a little bit about it. It's supposed to be weightless, natural matte, sheer pressed powder, reduces shine, blurs that imperfection, yada yada yada. Put it over foundation or as a touch up without creasing or caking. I've already done a swatch of it and this guy is not going to match me. It's not going to match my face at all. Um, it's just going to make me look ghosty. So I'm going to use it to kind of dust off my under eye makeup. And I'm going to use my normal powder for the rest of my face because the um, 
the foundation already doesn't really match me so I don't need something to make me look even lighter I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna apply my face powder so I had to apply my Laura Mercier powder underneath my eyes because it was hella creasing and I'm going out today and ain't nobody got time for creasing makeup so we're gonna move straight into the eyes because I don't know what it is I want to create I think I'm gonna do one eye off camera and then come back on camera and do the second eye so be on my bag though so this is what I came up with so let's go so first things first is I'm going to apply my concealer and I'm gonna use the Colourpop concealer in medium dark 36 and I'm gonna apply that to my lid and I actually should have swatched both concealers because this one looks a little warmer than the other one and I'm just going to find my brush and I'm going to blend that in next is I'm going to go into the Soul palette this guy and I'm going to use dynamite I'm gonna pop dynamite in my crease and dynamite is like a it's like a warm crease type of color and I'm just applying that to the upper part of my crease more like my brow bone closer to my brow bone area and I'm patting it in first because it's a concealer Next I'm going to take O, which is like three O's together with a little plus or star. What is this? Like a little star. Anyway, it's the red shade. And I'm really going to saturate my brush. I really love these eyeshadows because there's minimum to no fallout. And I'm going to apply that directly to my crease. And it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit above my crease because I'm going to blend it out with another shade as well and this shade as you guys can see I'm only doing a like tiny pat in motion and it is pigmented and I'm just flicking the tail end up just wiped off the same brush so I'm going to go into MAR and I'm going to use Detour Detour is that beautiful cobalt blue shade and I'm just going to pop that directly into my crease and kind of layer it on top of the red now this shade has a little bit of fallout like a tinge but it doesn't matter so I'm really going to build this color into my crease not like it makes much of a difference anyway because I covered my crease in the end with glitter because I really wanted the look to pop but it's still a beautiful effect so if you decide not to put glitter you can leave it no product on my brush I'm just going to go in and blend out the edge So I'm going to go back into MAR and I'm going to use L Ray, which is a beautiful goldish color. I'm going to use that as my highlighter. I'm placing that on my brow bone and I'm dragging that down a little bit. And then I'll just go ahead and blend it out with the same brush that I used without any product on it and just make sure it's soft. Now I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to use the same concealer and I'm going to cut it, cut it. Now I'm going to go back into MAR and I'm going to use Gridlock which is a beautiful shimmery like an emerald green shade. And while the concealer is wet I'm going to start patting that on the lid. 
And this might take a little bit of time because I want it to be fully saturated on there and it's like a, a really really shimmery color I'm gonna go back into detour and because I've lost some of that from my crease and I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the crease this is what it's looking like without the um, glitter or anything so if you wanted to leave it like this you can um, I'm not really the best when it comes to cut creases because I don't think that my lid is enough to do a cut crease but I do enjoy the effect hence why I like to add a bit of glitter so it looks like I've got more of a crease but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add my glitter and the glitter I'm using is from Certify and it's this gorgeous green mix color it's very beautiful if I can swatch a little bit the back of my hand so that's what it looks like it's very very pretty so I'm going to apply that to my crease and to my eye as well but I'm going to do a wing liner so I'm not going to talk through this I'm just going to speed through This is how it's looking so far. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to carry on with the rest of my face and then we'll come back to the eyes. So I've bronzed my face and I've applied my blush and I've also used the Mario Badesk facial spray just to settle the foundation and still the concealer hella creased. Even with the amount of powder I tried to, to use to salvage it. So. I didn't want to actually do anything smoky but for this look to look decent I think I'm gonna have to smoke I'm gonna have to smoke my lower lash line so it looks decent you know what I mean I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Punk Post Punk 24-7 Glide On Pencil I'm gonna pop that in my waterline it's a really beautiful color And I'm bringing that down on my lower lash line a little bit and this is just to support the eyeshadow that I'm going to put on top of it. And from the more shadow palette I'm going to use WHY which is just a beautiful green shade. And I'm going to pat that on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back into the Soul palette and I'm going to use Dynamite and oh 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 and I'm just gonna blend both of them on my lower lash line I haven't said this on my channel but this NARS Climax mascara is everything. I'm still using the sample size because the 
full size is about 20 something pounds and she's expensive but she's worth it she works do you guys see how amazing looking my lashes are and I haven't even got false lashes on so yes all right I'm going to apply my false lashes and I'm going to be using the LePage Trends diamond lashes I haven't used these lashes yet they're brand new and they look like this I can get it out yeah this is what they look like very dramatic and I think it's appropriate for this look this is on and my jewels are on beautiful jewels so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my highlighter and I'm going to use the Colourpop and Shayla collaboration highlighter I've got the one in booming and also the one in pose pause pose pose is more like rose goldy color so I think I'm gonna go more with that I kind of think it'll go better with the glitter so let's get it Hairs on, clothes on, let's go. So for my lips today, I'm going to use the Colourpop, I think I'm feeling gold, I'm feeling gold, but I'm also feeling the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Icing on the Wall. So I think I might do both and see which one I prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Colourpop DM which is a gold shade mine is really really drying out and then I'll probably put Contessa on top which is a lip gloss from Colourpop Right, I really love the way it all came together in the end. So I'm going to tell you guys my favorites out of all the Colourpop products and what products I didn't really care for. So the Colourpop foundation, the no filter foundation, I'm on the fence with. It is quite oily. It isn't a foundation I'll probably wear out because I need my foundation to last all day. And it's mainly because I've got oily skin. It says it's got... It says it's oil free but it's not I could still see shine and oils on my face so it's not a foundation I'll probably wear out it's a foundation I'll probably wear and uh, doing tutorials and whatnot but not actually outside the house in humidity I am gonna go out today and it's probably gonna fall apart but I have tried to set it as much as possible with powder in terms of its coverage, the coverage wasn't fully there. I think using eight pumps was quite a lot and even still I could see my imperfections. If I was to use this foundation again, I would probably color correct and also use a concealer underneath to help hide my imperfections and maybe then I wouldn't need up to eight pumps. But because it says it's full coverage, or no, medium buildable coverage, which means it can lead to full coverage, I just thought I'm just going to go ahead and see how much coverage it actually gives me. But this foundation to me isn't isn't one of my go-to foundations. I will use it, but it isn't a foundation I'll be reaching for when I'm going out. Next are the two concealers. Now, the concealer shades are a bit naff to me. Um, the... If, it's, if something's called medium dark, I expect it to have a little bit of a warm tone to it. They're still a bit too light for medium dark, that's in my opinion. Um, in terms of the consistency, it, it does have a creamy consistency. It dries quickly, 
but to me it cracks like I could still see all the lines and everything underneath my eyes I don't know if you can see it because I've tried to hide it with as much eyeshadow as I could possibly pack on but it does crease and I don't like it when a concealer creases especially when I do have fine lines underneath my eyes I'm not trying to use a concealer to to exaggerate that I'm trying to use a concealer to hide that so for me um, it isn't a concealer I would reach for it's it's okay to have and maybe you'd mix it with the concealer that you trust if you wanted to give it a bit more of a matte consistency but other than that it isn't it's definitely not a concealer I would reach for is it full coverage not really because I could still see my dark areas I would obviously color correct and conceal and then probably use this as a highlighter if I was to use it again but just on its own it definitely didn't cover my imperfections and the powder so the banana powder it was okay to use it did feel a bit weird um, the consistency isn't finely milled as they said it felt a bit chalky on the skin so it wasn't the most comfortable to use and then when it absorbed the oil from the concealer and from the foundation I could see like dark parts on my face and that's obviously from the powder sitting on oil uh, it just gives that kind of dark patch or just makes it look weird and I didn't really care for that I had to use my Laura Mercier powder to kind of even out my skin tone again um, it left too much of a white cast as opposed to a kind of a, a yellow cast it just gave a really white cast and I didn't care for it um, I would definitely mix this powder with another powder probably one that's slightly darker just to give it a lighter color but in terms of consistency it isn't a powder I would reach for um, this is beginning to sound quite negative <laughs> so the next um, item is the Colourpop no filter share pressed powder now again I have a problem with their color selection if they call this dark then I shudder to think what deep dark looks like this is definitely not a dark enough shade for my skin tone so you can imagine for someone else who's like for other people that are darker than me this definitely isn't something I would use on my face is too light Um, I would definitely probably use it underneath my eyes just like I did today to kind of set it or to kind of even out my skin tone underneath my eyes Um, I do love the packaging I love the fact that it comes with a mirror I do love the weight of it it's quite light and it is it does give that kind of sheer finish so um, it is something I would reach for as an everyday product um, I do like to use a powder to kind of clean my under eye and kind of set everything together so yeah I would reach for this the two eyeshadow palettes Mar and Soul um, so Soul is obviously the orange one and it's the one that's got the warm tones and the reds which looks like this I love this palette it blended like a freaking dream I didn't have to force it it was easy it, to me this is like your everyday neutral palette with a pop of color if you wanted to add some intensity it's definitely something I will be reaching for the eyeshadows are are blendable they are saturated they look absolutely beautiful on the eye Mar, however, I did like a lot of the shadows, but the middle shade, which is called Gridlock, that takes a lot of persistency to get it as fully saturated as I was able to get it on my lid. Other than that, I absolutely love the shade range. I love the pigment. Detour, which is the dark blue shade in this palette, which is that one, it looks absolutely stunning. You don't have to force it. The blue is very pigmented. It's there and it's it's just ready to go so again this is a definite travel palette for me um, it's something I would definitely reach for if I was going to a party and I needed that pop of color I would definitely take this guy along and obviously the highlighter that I use is the Makeup Shayla um, collaboration I absolutely love the highlighter anyway I've already talked about this on my Instagram I love the pigment of it I love the shine I think Shayla did a good job with Colourpop I think it's very smooth and it feels really comfortable on the face and it gives that extra shine so I definitely do love the collaboration
I've already done a couple of videos swatching those lipsticks so I can leave some of my Colourpop videos in the description box for you guys just in case if you're interested in lipstick swatches but yeah that's all the products from Colourpop that I tried today I love the outcome I love the look let me know what you guys think of this look do you approve do you love it um, also let me know what types of videos you guys would like me to record are you enjoying my uploads so far and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead Ahead and subscribe as it does encourage me to keep recording for you guys but yeah I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll catch you guys in a future video bye